All right, Dr. Frazier here. Uh, we're going to do a introduction to how to balance uh, chemical equations. So first of all, we're going to start off with uh, the chemical equations or the chemical reactions just described in words. And our first example is, we're going to start off pretty simple, just balance the equation for the decomposition of water into hydrogen and oxygen gases. So first of all, you've got to write up what we call a skeleton re reaction or skeleton equation. And that's just basically uh, making sure that you write down the right formulas, the correct balanced formulas, uh, in a simple uh, formula without worrying about how many of each type of molecule you have. So we're going to write that up first. So it's a decomposition of water. So our reactant is going to be just simply water. Uh, and then we'll draw the reaction sign here. So water is going to decompose to yield hydrogen and oxygen gases. So that's going to be H2 and O2. All right, so now we can already tell that this is not balanced because although we have two hydrogens on each side, we only have one oxygen over here on the left and two oxygens on the right. Uh, so since the oxygens, or since the hydrogens already balance, uh, we're going to balance out the, the oxygens first in this one. That's not going to be typical, but we'll do that anyway. So we'll put a two in front of the hydrogen here, or in, a two in front of the, the water here. So now we've got two water molecules. Uh, so we've got two oxygens on the left and two oxygens on the right. That's balanced. But now the hydrogens are out of balance. So we've got two, uh, we've put a coefficient of two. So we've got two uh, of these H2s here. So we've got a total of four hydrogens, which means we need four hydrogens over here on the right. So to fix that, I'm just going to put a two coefficient in front of the hydrogens. So now I've got four hydrogens on the left, four hydrogens on the right. I've got two oxygens on the left and two oxygens on the right. So that's the first example, very simple, and it's balanced out that I've got uh, as it's shown right there. So let's go on to a, a another example. It's maybe a little bit trickier, but uh, pretty basic. Okay, now this one just says balance the equation for the combustion of propane. Now, combustion is a real uh, standard type uh, equation, a real standard type of a reaction. So we're going to start off and we've got the formula for uh, propane that was given in the word problem. So we're just going to put that first. We'll put propane, which is C3H8. Okay, and any combustion is going to involve the uh, combination of this hydrocarbon with oxygen. So that's going to be plus O2 and the products of a combustion reaction are always going to be carbon dioxide and well, actually I should have left myself a little bit of space there uh, in front of that so let me get rid of that and put it space it out a little bit uh, carbon dioxide oops that oh, something moved there fix that too all right here we go now so we're gonna have carbon dioxide and, and water Okay, so that's the basic form for this combustion reaction. So now, we're, first of all, we're going to um, look at um, elements besides hydrogen and oxygen that only occur once on either side. So that'll be carbon in this case. So I've got three carbons over here on the left. I've got one carbon on the right. So I'm going to fix that by using a coefficient of three in front of the carbon dioxide. So now I've got three carbons on the right, three carbons on the left. The carbons are balanced for now. So let's move on to the hydrogens. All right, here I've got eight hydrogens. Those are the only hydrogens on the left side. And I've just got uh, the two hydrogens in water over here. So if I put a four coefficient in front of the hydrogens now of this water, I've got eight hydrogens here, which balance out the eight hydrogens over on the left side. So both the carbons and the hydrogens are balanced at this point, which only leaves me with the oxygen. Uh, so let's look. I've got two oxygens here just in this one oxygen molecule on the left. And over here on the right, I've got four times, well, actually, on, over here on the right, I've got three times two is six here. And I'm just going to put a little uh, six under this oxygen just so I can keep track. And I've got four times one, so I've got four over here. All right, so that's six plus four is ten. So since this oxygen is all by itself as an oxygen molecule, that makes it pretty simple to balance that out. I just need 10 oxygens. 
So I'm going to put a 5 here in front. And that balances the equation. I've got three carbons on each side. I've got eight hydrogens on each side. And I've got 10 oxygens on each side. So that's a balanced equation for the combustion of propane. And now one more, uh, one more little uh, example. And now it says balance the equation for the reaction of sulfuric acid and sodium hydroxide to form sodium sulfate and water. So I've been given all of my reactants and all of my products, so I can make a skeleton reaction pretty simply. So if you'll remember, sulfuric acid is just the acid that's made with sulfate ions. Uh, so that's SO4, and you remember that sulfate is 2 minus, so sulfuric acid has to be H2SO4. And we're going to react that with sodium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide is just a sodium ion and a hydroxide ion so that's a simple formula so those are my products and then my reactants are going to be sodium sulfate sodium sulfate and sulfate again is minus two sodium is only uh, plus one because it's in group one so that means I've got to have two of those to balance out the formula for sodium sulfate and then my other product over here is just going to be water, H2O. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, let's pick, uh, so now remember in this type of a uh, equation, or in this type of reaction, the sulfur has to stay together. The sulfate has to stay together. The SO4s don't come apart. Okay, so we kind of have to consider that all together, although we do count up the oxygens and the sulfurs uh, separately. So, um, let's pick uh, an element that only occurs once. Of course, this is a 2 here. Okay, so let's, let's work on the sodium first. All right, so I've got one sodium over here, two sodiums over here. So I need to fix that, and I'll fix that by just putting a 2 here. All right, so now I've got um, H2SO4 over here. I've got one sulfate, one sulfate. That's good. I've got H2 here. And I've got H2. I've got H2 over here with the. Um, with the water, but I've got two hydro. I've got two uh, hydrogens over here with the sodium hydroxide. So I've got a total of four hydrogens. I've got two here and two here. That's four. So that means I'm gonna. I'm gonna need to make uh, four hydrogens over here. So I'm gonna need to put a two in front of this. Um, this water. So I've got four hydrogens here, I've got four hydrogens over there. That should have been a four, sorry about that. Alright, uh, so the hydrogens are balanced out, uh, sulfates are balanced out. Let's check the oxygen. So I've got two oxygens here, and I, actually I've only got two over here. So now that is a balanced equation. So it's just uh, one, uh, one sulfuric acid with two sodium hydroxides are going to yield one sodium sulfate and two waters. So those are some simple examples and I'll post up another video pretty soon where uh, I show you some more complicated ones.